All right. Um, so I did a video on a um, on an audio amplifier, and uh, I thought that I'd maybe uh, actually try to uh, use it. And it needs a power supply, and uh, plus and minus 20 volts is what I was operating it off of. So I looked around the garage and I found these things, and um, uh, these are power supplies out of a Dell laptop docking station. So they were throwing away quite a few of these at work, and uh, I opened them up and noticed they had these nice power supplies in them. And I figured, well, I'll probably use that someday. So I just pulled the power supplies out and threw the rest away. And uh, they are 100 volt to 240 volt, so standard uh, AC input. Um, and the output is 19.5 volts, 6.6 uh, .6 amps, so perfectly good for a uh, audio amplifier. And it actually has a uh, uh, AC power cord connector here. I need plus and minus 20 volts, so I need two of them. So I've got plenty of these. Um, it's got a weird connector on it, and not quite sure if I really need the fan or not. Um, might be able to run them without the fan, so I thought I'd open it up and uh, see what's inside, and maybe uh, somehow wire both together so I only have to have one AC cord, things like that. So anyway, let's take a look inside. All right, got some screws out, uh, and I don't know why it isn't opening it up. Uh, huh? I take the fan off. That's kind of weird. No, it doesn't look like I need to. Oh, there we go. Just needs to slide, slide over. Oh, there we go. So the fan goes on a little connector here. There's a bunch of elastic. I'm gonna. Oh gosh. Kind of a really hard elastic kind. I thought I could just pop that connector off. Uh, yeah, let's take a look inside though. Looks pretty nice. Boy, I got carried away with this elastic, that's for sure. Um, looks like the uh, power connector just comes in here. And heat sink here. Another heat sink here. Heat sink here. A lot of heat sinks, huh? Interesting. Um, I don't see any adjustment for the voltage. Oh, yes, I do. Right down there, but it's got a big blob of <laughs> blob of stuff on it. So I might remove that so I can adjust the voltage. See what we can get out of this thing. And then uh, this is what I was really interested in: uh, is why there are so many wires on this connector. There's a uh, looks like two black wires and two red wires, which are most likely the uh, power and ground. But there's also a gray wire and a green wire, which I don't know what those do. Let me scrape some of this elastic off so I can remove this fan so I don't break those little wires. All right, uh, let's see if I can keep this thing in focus. Um, kind of take you around this thing. Uh, it's got some elastic everywhere. Uh, a real big mess. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere, I guess. People expected to have this thing dropped or something like that. Anyway, there was a little connector back here, which is where the uh, connector for the uh, fan went, so that came off. So there's uh, 12 volts, I guess, there on that connector. And um, I was able to get the elastic off the uh, uh, potentiometer here, so I should be able to set voltage with that. Maybe I can get 20 volts out of it. And uh, I still don't know what the uh, green wire and the gray wire do. They might 
actually wire up to the fan here. Um, maybe it's 12 volts, so maybe it's time to power this thing on and try it out and see what kind of voltage we get and what kind of uh, adjustment we can get out of it. Uh, maybe hook it up to a dummy load. Well, I couldn't immediately find a power cord for this weird connector. Um, it's a triangular shaped weird thing so might bypass that. I've just put some alligator leads on it so I can hook it up. goes through my uh, isolation transformer and I've got a, a power meter here so we can, I mean a voltage meter so we can measure the voltages on this uh, on this connector here. So let's power it up. It's drawing 2.2 uh, .2 watts. Fine. And let's see here. We've got go across from side to side here without shorting anything out. And we have some kind of voltage on it. Nineteen point six. All right, let me uh, work something out here so I don't have to uh, hold it. All right, I've got some wire shoved in that connector. We can take a look out here, and I can go adjust the uh, potentiometer. And yeah, we get we get movement. Uh, well, not much. We can go up to 19.8, and we can go down to 18.6. So, not much movement. So I guess we'll move it up to 19.8. Leave it there. Or does it really matter? What's this thing rated at? This thing is supposed to be outputting 19 and a half. I don't think a half a volt is going to mean much in uh, audio land, so I'm just going to adjust it so that the label matches what it's supposed to be doing. All right, 19 and a half. Um, and then let's see if we can figure out what those other other things are. All right, so the green wire. Uh, has well, nothing on it. Let's see, 19 and a half. Green wire's got kind of floating point. Oh, one. The gray wire's got uh, nothing on it either. So, nothing on the gray wire, nothing on the green wire. And if I go gray wire to green wire, I get point 0.1 volts. So, I don't know what those are. <laughs> so I'm just going to ignore them. We will use black wire and red wire, which is 19 and a half volts. And, um, hmm. and I've changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and boost up the voltage as far as it can go. Let's see here, 19.8. I'll just write it on the case. So. Let's go up here to 19.8. Very nice. All right. We'll leave it at that. Um, let's go ahead and put a, um, a load on it and see how it does. All right. I got my little dummy load here. Uh, I have it set for uh, 3 amps. And um, we are measuring uh, 19.7 out of the power supply. So there is some drop. Oops. OT, uh, no. Over temperature? No. Oh. I think we got too hot. Well, that's interesting. Shut down because it got too hot. All right. I guess we have to wait for it to cool off. Fans running. Uh, it seems not that hot. 
Let me reset it. All right. Let me adjust the current down here to one amp. And we're measuring uh, 19.8. Um, measuring one amp. Let's go up here to two amps. Two amps. We're still at uh, 19 point something. I'll adjust the uh, power supply up a bit. There we go. Eight. And 8. And all the way to 3 amps. Looks like it's doing well. And I guess my little um, it's a little warm. I'll let it run at 3 amps for a while. I think this thing then over it has a, a thermistor on it so if it gets too hot I guess it just shuts down. Interesting. Anyway this thing runs at, at 3 uh, Three amps just fine. It's supposed to be good for six amps, but it's like it's working good. Okay, I thought we'd be, uh, take a look at something interesting since it's hooked up here. We have uh, three amps at 19.48, so if we multiply those together, that gives us watts, so that's somewhere around uh, 60 watts. And uh, if we go up to my uh, watt meter, uh, where is it? Uh, we are measuring, uh, just, it just over temped again, uh, sorry, I'll let that cool down for a second, we'll go back up, all right, we're measuring 68 watts, so, um, 60 watts, a little less than 60 watts, 19.5, uh, times 3, um, and then uh, 68 watts. So it's pretty efficient. Um, not too bad at all. Uh, let's do the math and then see exactly how efficient that was. All right, we had, uh, oops, we had uh, 19.48 volts and 3 amps. So we had 19.48 three times. We had 58. 58.44 watts and uh, we had 68 watts so if we divide these uh, 68 it is 86 percent 86 percent efficient um, watts to watts so yeah, it's not too bad all right, so I uh, I removed these uh, power connectors and uh, put on some leads so I can put these together. I'll put a some kind of socket on there, but this is AC power. And on the other side, I've got uh, uh, a couple wires, uh, red and black from each one, and uh, so those will be my plus and minus uh, 20 volts. And that's going to go onto this thing which is my amplifier, uh, two mono amplifiers, uh, left and right channel. I've already uh, wired together the uh, plus and minus uh, 20 volts, so I just have to bring it in here. So plus minus 20 comes on here. Signals come on this connector, the output comes on this connector. So I think that's going to work out okay.